we are in the part of the stand that we are showing you the Mission System Maestre, which is some kind of a, a system of subsystems in order to control all the information of the vehicle for just a couple of interfaces. So you can have all the information for the BMS, the battlefield management system, the status of the vehicle, the weapon system, on um, some other subsystems, all the information is going to be shown to you only through one screen. This is the first uh, mission system that we are able to integrate all the information of the platform in just one system. As far as I know, you can have some information very limited. For instance, the, uh, the health monitoring system of the vehicle that you have in a, in a model screen. But if you want to control the command and control system, you need another, another a screen, another tablet. You have in this mission system all the information just in one screen with different menus. You can navigate and obtain the information you need. When you're in a combat situation, tired at 24, 36 hours without sleep, you need some help in order to command your vehicle and to command your unit. We have provided uh, this uh, for the infantry fighting vehicle 8x8 Dragon for the Spanish Army. And we hope that we are going to sell also to some other vehicles but uh, mostly in the Spanish market. Uh, the future amphibious combat vehicle for the Mar Marine Corps, Spanish Marine Corps, and a combat support vehicle that uh, is now being developed here in Spain. We hope that we can have some more customers in Europe because this is in accordance with a NATO standard, NGVA, NATO Generic Vehicle Architecture. So any kind of fighting vehicle, support vehicle, can have this mission incorporated, incorporated implemented in their, in, in their vehicle. Inside of the uh, new infantry fighting vehicle, we are providing different solutions. We are providing a 360 degrees vision system for the crew. One of the problems that the infantry squad that is going inside the vehicle can face is that they cannot see outside of the vehicle. They need to know the situational awareness of the system. So through different, for instance, we close the, 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 the rear guard, the, the rear ramp, and they are not going to have any kind of view from the, so they can have in some in, in small screens all this information. So they can go outside knowing before disembark where are going, they are going to have. We can implement also active process, uh, protection systems that we are able to detect several threats to the vehicle going from unmanned area vehicles, RPGs, or anti-tank guided missiles, even kinetic uh, uh, projectiles from, coming from tanks.